What up friends, welcome to day six. I think we're halfway through the month. We've got six days of practice under our belt, less than 20 minutes a day, which is kind of a bummer, but you guys know how it goes. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I dog sit, so I'm at a, a client's house right now. The dogs are super chill. So they're just gonna take a nap while we get to business. First thing I wanna do, point out, I'm using my Martin guitar. It's my favorite guitar, it's broken. There's pieces rattling all around inside, but it sounds good. We're gonna pick up where we left off, which is the sixth diminished. I like doing that little. That feels good. Alright, um, let me warm up my fingers a little bit. I can feel that they're they're not warm. So let's do A major with the flat six in there. stretching so my routine is as follows this is a, a stretching routine I do for video games but if it works for Super Smash Bros Melee then it works for guitar I hold this out for 10 to 30 seconds depending on when I feel everything relax then I do the thumb the same business there with the thumb this one's really important for everything it prevents the dacker veins don't know how to pronounce it dacker veins I just remember I read it and it's claustro, not uh, it's ca 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 what's the word? Arthritis, uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, and Dacker veins. Those are the three big boys. It'll get you for video games anyway. For guitar, I'm sure it's the same. Okay, we do this. I can feel this loosening up in the forearm here, right here. This, you can feel it through your thumb to the front. Oh, don't forget this way. I usually do these ways a little shorter uh, length, less time. Okay, shake them out. Oh, it'll feel good. Then I go through and do the knuckle rub. All the money I spent going to university, the guitar teacher taught me one thing that I remember. The knuckle rub. Because you don't want to use your hands or else you're defeating the purpose. Right? All right, now I'm feeling fresh. Let's go back, except for now it's to the arpeggios, which is where we left off last. And I wanted to go. Let's do our drop twos. Good, in position there. Now, what if we did them one, one uh, position over? Instead of starting here and doing three notes or three chords, one, two, three, and then switching string sets, let's do. What up, Zoe? There's Zoe. For those of you uh, Alice in Chains fans, we got a three-legged dog. And she's usually not that good at walking on the hardwood floor, but she wanted to come see what all the noise is about. We got rugs and everything to keep so she can walk better. Come on over here, Zoe. Come here. Alright, we've been joined. 
her practice. Oh, you're just gonna dive right into the corner? Okay, here we go. First step, slow. I know we were doing, uh, we were starting here. So those are our drop twos. Let's do our drop threes. Which of course just means we're skipping the A string now and we're doing... So all these, there's no repeating notes. Each chord is just four separate notes. No octaves in there. Alright, so we got the, the root, the sixth, the third, oh, you can't see, the root, the sixth, the third, and the fifth. I'm going to go to our diminished. Over here, which is something like, I always forget this one because down here it's, which means up here it's, ugh, ugh, hate this one. I guess that's our voicing. Oh, there it is. So I bar and then I put the pinky. Throw the third. So now we got third. So if you look, we got root six third five. And now up the inversion, we got third root uh, five six. I love when the five and six are next to each other. We really get the sound of the major six chord. Okay, and then we want to go to the next one, next string set. Diminish. That's. Oh, same kind of deal here. Bar, put the pinky in the middle. But obviously on different string sets, it's a different chord. It's a diminished seventh. And then we want... There we go. See, these are way more open sounding as opposed to the drop twos. Listen to those crunchy closed. drop threes way more open or it should be yeah that was right wait no it wasn't and every time you get to the minor seven you'll notice familiar shapes right love it okay um Okay, so drop threes again. There we go. Finally, I feel like something's working. Spent my last five dollars on a coffee, and boy, it feels good. I got that money coming in, but it's a uh, <laughs> balance owed. What do they call that? Payments owed, like people owe me money. Play for retirement homes, and let's just say that their billings are slow. Oops. You might not use that in a song, but you might use this, right? So you'll use parts of them. And now that I practice them, I can literally go. Huh. Ooh. Actually, it sounds like. Mr. Sunman. Gotta be Sandman, bring me a dream. Oh no, it's something crazier. I have no idea what that what those chords are. Alright, I'm gonna keep playing the licks though. I like the way this sounds right now on this acoustic guitar.
My picking hand, you guys got to see my picking hand. It's going nutty over there, so watch this. I'm trying to do alternate picking the whole time. Okay, so if I pay attention, then it's alternate picking, but I'll do sometimes... I'll do a sweep, a little economy picking, which my uncle Chris would always say, you know, he practiced economy picking his whole life, but he could never get it any faster than like, like that, but he could alternate pick like a motherfucker. And you kind of have, I like the acoustic because you can flub a little bit and it sounds good. But every fourth note I'm flubbing, or every fourth phrase I'm flubbing, so... to economy that. Isn't that weird? Go we'll play that. Watch that right hand. Okay, let's go back to... I'm gonna try to... Alternate pick and swing. Now I wanna I wanna like try something here. Why don't we go from A diminished like that to a D, the exact same thing but on the four chord and see what that sounds like. Uh how do I do it musical though? Mm, I don't want to use the four. Why don't we go up a minor third and see what that does? One of the families we can play with is C, E flat, uh, A, yeah, E flat. Really? A, F sharp, A, C. So let's just go to oh, F sharp. So there's our F sharp. Now we gotta go major. The reason this would work in theory is because they're all connected by the same diminished. So you'll notice A. I'm doing A6. And then the diminished, right, can also go to C. So, or you could go to F sharp. That was minor, so that wasn't really the same kind of deal, but. Uh, boom, there's a better example. Um, I don't have a really good grasp on all, all the ways to resolve to them, but that's why we're here practicing. So let's try. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we could go up. Let's do the A. Five, six, one. Okay. But then right here. What, what can we resolve to? Let's do the other one. Was it E flat? Yeah, the tritone one, so. sound. So let's pick a note from E flat, six. What am I trying to do here? Oh. Then. Okay, yeah, so A. Let's just do A. 
but you can kind of hear it there, yeah. Mm. So let me show you with chords what this is doing. So we can go A, all right, and then, and then like how we started our lesson today, or we could do if it's an A chord to a C chord. Beautiful. Let's try it to an F sharp. Where are my F sharp voicings? I really don't know, so let's pick B flat. Yeah, E flat is also C minor, so we can just do that. How is that? That's an almost perfect one. Ah, I can't play guitar today. Woo, interesting. See, there's your E flat. There's our six on the bottom. So it looks like C minor seven. It's just E flat six in second inversion. In 82nd inversion. Okay. Um, what's the, the last one? That F sharp. We've got to figure out an F sharp. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do our drop threes. This one. That's right, we need the fifth. This one. I remembered it. It's bull honky. Drop threes are hard. But if there's anything that November of 2023 is teaching us, is our drop threes. See, it's a small learning game. If anyone has watched from day one, you'll you'll see that it's been all over the place, but sometimes just sitting down is the best thing you can do. Even if it doesn't feel like you're learning. Just take a deep breath oh. and, know, and know that it is, that your skills are improving. Uh, we were F sharp. Okay, so this is the F sharp. So what we're gonna do is go back to this, A, B diminished. I mean, listen to that. Okay, so now we can do all of them. A, diminished, A, all A, all diatonic, beautiful. A, diminished, E flat, beautiful, A, diminished, C, also beautiful, very similar, right? Uh, and then in our last one, A, diminished to F sharp. So that's how all these chords are connected that don't seem to be connected. So like A and D are connected. We know that, that's easy. That's easy stuff. We all know how to connect those chords. But when we see the third, like if we see an A to a B minor to an E7, but then it goes to a C, it's like we don't know how to do that, right? That didn't sound so great. So let's, instead of playing E, let's make it that diminished. How do we do that? It's always a one note change to make a chord fully diminished. Oh, no, it's, yeah, flat nine. Here, let me, let me start over. It would have been that one, this voicing. Because what we want is we want to turn this E7, instead of an E7, we want to turn it into one of those dominant, uh, sorry, one of those diminished things, this thing. See? It's like a flat nine. So there's the chord. It's almost like we want it to be this diminished sound. So let's say we go... at it. I should have went like... Okay, let's try. So we're an A. Then we want a B minor to an E7, but instead of E7, we're going to play B diminished, because then it'll go perfectly to... Let's try a different one now. Go to F sharp. So A, B minor, then that's technically E7, but it's also technically G7, and it's also technically uh, B flat 7. I mean, B flat 7, you can see. So in that case, let's resolve to E. Ooh, E flat is what I meant. So we're going A, B minor, and we're gonna, instead of thinking 
uh, we're going to the E flat major. So we're going to think of this as a B flat. So we're going B minor to B fully diminished, which is kind of like a B flat seven, which resolves perfectly to an E flat six. I mean, that is just Barry Harris family stuff. Go look at all the videos on Barry Harris if this is piquing your interest at all. It changed my jazz mind. <laughs> I was like, jazz is dumb. I don't get it. I was like everybody else and thinking jazz just plays the wrong notes. It's like, no, no. Jazz is so playing the right notes that you have no idea. Like, like it has to be the right notes or else you're just plunking around doing nothing. So if I wasn't using my phone to record, I would pull up some chord charts right now. But I guess I know one in my head. The dun, 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 dun. So what we can do here is it's a C major. So starting off. And then we go to a B flat. I guess that's where I want to go. So B flat, uh, we're going to use this same chord. Instead of B flat, we're going to use this same deal. Ready? Oh, I'm running out of video. Bye. See you guys next time.